we are so excited to welcome back our friend of the show, Gary Nussbaum. Um, Barry, how are you tonight? Uh, it's great to see you. Uh, thrilled to be with you back on America Trends after a little bit of a break, 150 shows later. <laughs> Aww, it, it, we've done 150 shows now, I have. So yeah, it's just, just great. It's just been great all around, really. Um, and now you've got, you've got your American Truth Project. We've picked up some affiliates, so I'd love for people to hear all about that and what you're doing and your show to refamiliarize and get updated on everything, Barry. Absolutely. Uh, American Truth Project is a 501c3 nonprofit. Uh, we are all about educating the public on uh, threats to our country, both foreign and domestic, largely relating to terrorism, and uh, very much involved with uh, information on our most stalwart front line of defense in the Middle East, which is our one uh, reliable ally, uh, the country of Israel. So we uh, put out videos every week. We put out uh, a lot of written materials, uh, links to shows like this one, obviously. <laughs> and uh, it's growing like crazy. It's, it's very easy to find us on the web. Just type in findberry.com. It'll take you right to it. And uh, you'll see our weekly stuff. We don't charge. It's all for free. So I welcome anybody aboard to uh, see what we're doing. Fantastic. You've got to go online and find Barry. Everybody needs to. And uh, <laughs> the Jim Acosta thing, we'll, we'll talk about that in a few minutes, too. I know we're going to play a little more sound from the exchange. So crazy. Um, but, you know, speaking of Jim Acosta, you, you're talking about security and making sure citizens are aware. You know, Jim Acosta and Juan Williams and some folks seem to think that this caravan is just a big figment of our imagination and that anyone who calls it an invasion is just full of propaganda, just, um, you know, so, you know, the crazed far right. Um, are they right? It is sad from my perspective that the immigration laws of the United States, which have been passed repeatedly by Republican and Democratic Congresses and signed by Republican and Democratic presidents, uh, over the last several years are completely, totally ignored and as a result, the in intonation is, if you don't open the gates to everybody who claims I'm running away from a horrible situation in Guatemala or Pakistan or Somalia, and you don't let me in, then you're a racist. It's contrary to the laws of the United States, which are non-Democrat or non-Republican. It has to do with sovereignty. Um, I would call it an invasion if people start climbing over the fences or breaking down the fences. I don't know what else to call it. Everyone that shows up from this caravan is welcome to apply for asylum and to ask for the protection of the United States government. And sometimes it's granted if the case is real and sometimes it's not. Look, Guatemala and Mexico have both said they're pulling terrorists out of that group, people that are armed, people that have affiliations with MS-13. If you let in any of those people, that's too many people that should not have come in. And God forbid they come in and commit some horrendous crime against uh, an American citizen. Then the blood is on their hands, the people that push for the open borders. The second thing to consider, obviously, is many states are granting uh, this bizarre voting right to even people that don't belong in this country legally. And why are they doing it? Because they're all being registered to vote Democrat. Democrat. And Everyone it's a calculated- together, right? Uh, vote Democrat. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, and you've, we've heard, we have seen with our own eyes, people being interviewed by reporters who are embedded with the carav caravans up to four now, numbering up to 12,000 people, thank you very much. And we've seen people say, you know, I'm getting in to America hell or high water. We've heard people say, um, I was already deported for murder from America, but I'm going back. It's, it's true, and there are numerous cases most not widely reported of horrendous crimes being committed by people here illegally who have been deported half a dozen or a dozen a dozen times. Look, they just sentenced a murderer in San Francisco who was laughing as he was being sentenced, saying, I wish I had killed more. I'm going to break out of prison. And when I do, I'm going to kill more. And that guy had already been deported numbers of times and kept walking back in 
kept being deported, kept walking back in until finally he started committing murders. There are lots and lots of cases like this that are easily provable. A sovereign country protects its borders, enforces immigration law, and if you don't do that, you're giving up your sovereignty, and it's not constitutional for an elected official or a bureaucrat to do that, period. End of story. Stop. That's the truth. Yeah, they're supposed to protect us. That's why we voted for them. That's what this country, that's what. That's the oath they took. And, um, you know, these, if you want asylum, if you're trying to come in, get in line. There is a process. Um, 30 seconds to break. We're going to hold you over, Barry. But um, what do you think about this camp? Uh, President Trump said he's going to make a tent city for people wanting asylum. They're not going to be released into society. I, I, I'm actually uh, surprised he's letting them across the border. Why don't we let them stay on the Mexican side and let Mexico deal with it? I wouldn't even let them in if I was president. If they want to present themselves at a legal port of entry and fill out the paperwork, God bless them, let them do it. If not, let them stay in Mexico. Hey, maybe Barry for president in 2024.